Hello everyone, this is the Good Captain, and welcome to another video in my LP of Campaign Series West Front. This is the second mission in the LCG titled Operation Sea Lion, and the title of the scenario is Landing on the Shores of Destiny. But before I read the historical, I uh, just have a couple points of housekeeping before we get into the scenario analysis. Uh, First, shout out to Mike who left a comment on my first video in the Link campaign game for Sea Lion. Uh, thank you for showing me the little trick that you mentioned in the comment section in regards to putting the battalion commander with the with the battalion headquarters. Doing this boosts the supply or the range of influence by two hexes, which is huge, and uh, that's. That's just a great, that's a, that's a game changer for me. And so I mentioned this once in my Follow the Philippines LCG. If anybody watches these videos and they just, they're sure, or even if you're not sure that I'm doing something right or wrong or whatever, uh, please comment in the comment section. I don't, I like to say I don't like to be wrong a second longer than I have to be. And in regards to how I was using the battalion commanders, uh, I was wrong. They, they should be with the battalion headquarters to boost that range. That is that is too crucial. So, thanks again, Mike. And, uh, yeah. Okay, and then the other thing was uh, that last scenario was... Uh, <laughs> that was a real kick in the pants for me. I'm used to playing my scenarios a certain way. And with the view range reduced to one hex due to the fog, I pretty much, you know, every tactic and strategy I'd have employed in the game wasn't worth much of anything. Uh, so it was interesting to be confronted with uh, this sort of a problem. Uh, so my hat's off to Mr. Pathos for creating that and uh, looking forward to the rest of these uh, scenarios. So, all right. With all that out of the way, let's let's get to the scenario analysis. So, the first thing I do at the top of every scenario is read the historical and then move through a sort of SOP on how to cut through, how to get through uh, the rest of it. So, Eagle Day, height, 16 kilometers southwest of Dover. With Hawking's Aerodrome under the Reich's command, the next phase of the operation is a go. 7th Faltermaker units have been achieving major success at all drop points. Available elements of the division are now proceeding toward the landing beaches in order to silence enemy coastal batteries overlooking the shoreline. Out in the channel, the first wave of the landing forces, including elements of the 17th Infantry and 6th Mountain Divisions, are en route and are about to be expected along the coast at any moment. Your orders are to assist the initial seaborne landings near Hythe. First, you must capture the fortified position overlooking Hythe, housing a coastal battery that poses a threat <coughs> to the invasion force. Second, assist in the assault on Hythe, capturing the city and eliminating all resistance. If the weather is squalls with a visibility of 9. I have never been so happy to see a visibility of 9 playing this game. So, okay. The next thing I like to do is a map overview, and to do this I pretty much dab the 4 key. Whoops. Take that off. Okay. And this gives us an overview of the ground. Now, of course, it looks like most of this was uh, ground we've already fought over once. Uh, there is this uh, this more interesting piece down here, though. I do this mostly so I can see elevation. So um, there's a high ground right around here where this objective is next to the little village of Cold Harbor. This incidentally, I I'm assuming this is where those guns are. Uh, so yeah. Otherwise, um, is there any significant terrain? That's what I like to look for. Significant terrain. Well, this high ground I feel is significant mostly because it's tied in with what's in the scenario description um, as being probably the place where these field guns are or whatever the whatever they are 
guns that are supposed to interfere with the beach operation. But interestingly, um, if they're direct fire only weapons, they're not going to be, they can only mess with units that land along this stretch of the beach. Um, so, yeah, uh, there's some options for, I think, some options for avoiding them. But uh, otherwise, where are the objectives? How many are there? So we go to the Objectives tab. There's only three, totaling 275, excuse me, 275 points. And we'll just tie this in with victory real quick. 275 points, and we need 500 for victory, so we need to make up uh, 225 points in casualties, even after we capture all of these objectives. So again, this is a pretty, their high command, let's say, is expecting us to inflict a significantly, significant amount more than we are, uh, more losses on the enemy than we receive ourselves. So it's a bit tricky to me and I've sat here and stared at this before firing up this video for a long time before deciding on what I'm gonna do which we'll get to in a moment but anyway there there are the objectives and the significant terrain overview also interestingly there's kind of this I don't know if this will be interesting but we're coming off a high ground with the paratroopers down to this very low ground and then back up to the basically same level by climbing up this hill to where I th where apparently the guns are. So next, uh, that's the map overview. Uh, next I'd like to go through support. Uh, available air units, yes, we have two air, uh, on-call air support missions. One is at BF-109 and the other is a JU-87B. And I have a, made a PDF for these guys. And really, I think we're primarily looking at their soft attack, or at least I'm most interested in their soft attack values. A 12 is nothing crazy to write home about. It's better than nothing. 24 is pretty effective, so um, yeah. It's just nice to have, always nice to have air power at your disposal. So artillery units available. Well, we've got these mountain guns. Now, I very rarely, if ever, use mountain guns, so I you know, I was read everything I could about them. Um, you know, everything seems pretty normal. Uh, you know, uh, I even pulled, I think I have it up here. Yeah. So I looked at their, uh, you know, soft attack values at, at the various ranges. Um, I think there's an indirect. Yeah, they have an indirect fire of eight. And then notice what I'm hovering my cursor over it here. You see that? No smoke. Okay. I guess if you never watched the Philippines thing, you don't know this, and maybe I didn't articulate it in the Philippines. But I'll, I'll just say it now. I am the biggest fan of smoke. I love smoke. Um, pretty much in any game that allows it always interested in the rules surrounding it and in real life I you know it I, I like smoke okay uh, for concealing movements and uh, providing you know concealment if not cover is, is sometimes all you really need so yeah it's this is a huge bummer I I, I didn't notice this until I dabbed the F2 key and didn't see it in here when I was reading the description and uh, yeah, so I have five smokes, but I can't fire them, at least not out of that. Uh, I, the mortars can, right? Actually, I should check real quick. Yeah, see, this is what you were looking for. You want to look for this, smoke firing. Okay, that's the, that's the key term, but the range on my mortars is, is pretty... Know, abysmal but that they're mortars okay so these guys I, I was assuming I have five smokes to support this landing wherever I decided to go I have no way to deploy smokes for this landing why am I whining about this well I like to if I know that the <laughs> the beach has gonna be um, 
under fire, I, I like to use smoke to mask movement towards the beach, of course. But also, these landing barges are really peculiar, too. These are 5 VPs per SP loss just on the landing barge, not to mention whatever the enemy blasts. If they're successful at blasting a landing barge, you know, that that's a huge, uh, um, you know, victory point. These are these are little gold mines for the enemy. Just throw away the fact that they're not mine. Hey, don't worry about losses because they're not yours. No, no, no. We have to while they're in these boats, at least, because these boats are worth so darn much. It's mitigated somewhat by the fact that these landing barges are actually they got they're pretty beefy. Look at these soft attack values. They got a range of five. Their weakest is four at range five. Their best is it is <laughs> hits at a nine. This is super respectable. But they only move two, and again, they're super valuable. So I I have grappled with this for, probably for almost well, probably pushing an hour before <laughs> because I'd, I had a plan, I settled on it, I was about to pull the trigger on the video, and then I changed it when I'd realized something, like about these landing barges, and then I had to change it again after I realized that we don't have smoke. So what I'm going to do is probably really peculiar or, or really boring, I'm not sure, uh, on the course of action I've decided to take. We'll see what everybody thinks. But anyway, okay, um, so that's it for support. And then I like to go over the victory. Uh, what is the plan? How will we attack? Um, I, 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 I incorporate smoke so much that I actually have in my little hard copy of my own way of doing things. Is there a need for smoke at start? <laughs> so uh, do we have enough time relative to all the other factors to accomplish the major victory? Yes, time time does look... I don't look. I look at 18 turns and I think, okay, that's fine. Relative to victory... And this is why I'm saying that, because this uh, you'll never hear me say this again, but I am going to put the responsibility of victory on my own units more than anything else. These guys out in the water are, are more a liability, in my opinion, uh, given that the enemy is probably going to be... I mean, it, we know there's guns up here. We know those guns can probably see those beach hexes here, so I'm not, I don't fancy landing here. Especially since there's uh, dragons or uh, hedgehogs in the water, that's not good. And there's probably going to be units along the shoreline here. I mean, and just with the victory point value of these barges, it, it, this is not acceptable to me. So I, I've decided to just, at the risk of making these all these units in the water completely irrelevant, I've decided to on a landing. The landing zone is going to be this empty beach on the far west. Now, I could be wrong, but this to me seems just the safest, most out-of-the-way place to drop my guys. And yes, I've done the math. Yes, it's going to take probably 12 to 13, 14 turns to get all these guys on the beach. So yeah, I, I've reduced my expectation for them doing anything in this scenario to getting ashore safely in this area and 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 taking downtown Hythe, this 175 point objective. So I, I think this is funny. This is called the rifle ranges because I'll basically, if it, this works correctly the way I want it to, I'll be having a bunch of guys running across British rifle, a bunch of Germans running across British rifle ranges. Uh, uh, so on their way to Hythe. Um, but that's that's it. I mean, I don't I don't want their casualties to affect my chance at a victory. Okay, <clears throat> so this is this is I'm shelving my I was my initial plan was to really depend on the landing force to do most of the heavy lifting. Now I'm going to be depending on my own units to do most of the heavy lifting, and we'll have to make up whatever SP losses come our way in future scenarios. Again, this is a beach landing scenario. This is sort of a unique scenario, just just like the last one. Well, not as unique as the last one, but in the the next scenario and onward, we'll, I'll, I feel like I'll be on familiar ground, but still still treading unfamiliar water here. Okay, uh, now with all of that out of the way, 
Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go ahead and start moving. Oh, yeah, there was this motorcycle platoon up here. I thought that was interesting. There's no action points, but it is not my unit, so definitely we'll be abusing this guy um, to and use him to assist and lead our troops, draw fire, etc. So, okay, I'm, I'm just going to start with this down here. We'll just start with this uh, area. And, oh, and there's reinforcements, right? There, there's three sets of landing barges coming in down here, and I doubt these will be relevant. If they make, even if they all make it on on the turn they're supposed to come in on, they're just they're just gonna have a long way to travel. So we're just gonna move laterally. Not exciting. And it's it's gonna take a while. Sorry, let's wait for that. It's it's gonna take a while, I know, but I, I want to land somewhere in here, and that's the that's my final decision. Again, <clears throat> if it ends up costing me a major victory, fine. I I just actually I shouldn't say that. This I'm putting my chips on the table. Yeah, I think. Me doing this is setting myself up for a major victory, so I should look at this the other way, that I should be more willing to take an extra SP loss or two in pursuit of the major victory. So, yeah, important to get that right. Okay, and then over here, I'm a big fan of reconnaissance and observation, so uh, I've sat here again staring at the map for a while. I want to put a unit here, and I want to put a unit here. Um, prior to us really running out down this hill into the, into these village hexes. Um, so to that end, uh, did the math on this already? Yeah, we should be good. Yeah. So you will go here. Okay. And you. Yeah. That's right, I wanted to make sure it was this guy. I almost picked the wrong one, I think. This is the 3 SP. I'll try to use my weakened units to lead off. And then you'll go here. So everyone else can... Yeah, I don't... No, we're not going to rush. We're just going to... Nice, easy stroll forward here. can double time though. crazy, just sort of pushing everyone up. <clears throat> yeah, let's load up. Double time. Quarters will move with the artillery. Um, I'm going to leave this machine gun platoon back here because uh, High Command directed me towards this uh, Sea Lion designer's notes, and uh, this little sentence in here piqued my interest. I'd recommend 
watching your flanks and protecting your headquarters and other rear area assets. Who knows what British units might be lurking behind the front lines. Okay. Now, also, uh, I think I might have done this anyway, but with that tip especially, uh, I'll leave a machine gun team back here. Okay, so I think that's going to be it. Yeah. Um, what, do we want to call down fire support? No. Uh, and no air raids, no smokes, no nothing. Okay. So now we give the enemy its turn. And here we go. Okay, so we see a fortified position. So this is kind of what I was hoping for. I thought I would see... I thought I would see more. Huh. Okay. Uh, so let's move. First, we want to inspect what's in Newington, if anything new is in Newington. So we'll move you here. Okay. We have observation on these hexes, but there's a cons the concealment value is such that negative four, negative three, there could, you never know. So let's just send in our least mission essential unit to do some recon by fire. Okay. Doesn't appear to be anybody in there. Let's try you. Okay, yeah. Okay, looks clear. <coughs> uh, mortars. Let's get you here and unload and get the truck move him yeah Double time. Let's stop short of the trucks for the moment because I want to get these motorcycle. Yeah, this none of the road is blocked. Perfect. All the way down here. Oh. Now we can rest the rest of the way. Move you here. Move you here. Move you here. Okay. This is a lot of units. I usually like to maintain some uh, sort of a Philippines, I was doing what I call the two-company advance down one axis of advance. This is um, quite a bit more than that, but in the Philippines, we were also heading down highways and whatnot, so it's more of an open ground. Okay. Start with our rearmost units first. Let's put you 
Yeah, here. Here. Let's jump to the hedge. No help there. Yeah, let's move you here. Okay, so we had observation on those guys. Nobody took any shots here. Let's still just move the machine in here. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Six hex range, machine gun, little pause while I try to ID this. Whoop, little pause while I try to ID this unit. Uh, yo, I'm back. So, <clears throat> if you watched my video, my first video with the linked campaign game in the Philippines, uh, you knew that I, I was actually able to identify a medium, medium machine gun from a light machine gun by the discoloration. Uh, but that's not happening here. Um, there really is no discoloration between a medium. It's just the same exact depiction. So I can't tell if it's, or I couldn't tell if it was a light or a medium until I realized, yeah, yeah it was six X's, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it can't be any version of a light machine gun because all three uh, stop at five so this has to be some kind of a medium machine gun so I'll just unless there's another machine gun somewhere that I'm missing in which case yeah all the values are the same so that hit me at a two firepower yeah that's pretty weak Range 5 is not so bad either, but range 4, 3, 2, and 1 are not to be joked around about. So uh, we will definitely call in fire support on that guy. Uh, and we need to see what he can see. Okay. Keep moving in. And the machine guns, nobody can shoot, so no need. Yeah, no need for op fire. <clears throat> oh, you can. Yeah, you might shoot. Um. Yeah, let's just put you at medium for the moment. Oh yeah, the barges. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're just going to keep kind of skirting forward. I know it's not like glamorous or heroic or anything. And I'm frankly not that sorry about it. I just... Uh, I've played too much of this game to know how messed up beach landings can go. I don't expect it to be a cakewalk in my Fall of the Philippines campaign. That that one, I'd, I'd played that recently enough to have a, a... And I knew, actually, that for the most part it was an unopposed landing so that I could just, with confidence, with some confidence, but this, I don't know anything about this, so we're just going to assume that it would be a hotly opposed landing. Here, though, it just looks like even if there was machine guns in this station, then I still feel like it's far enough away that we would be able to land safely, which is huge. We can get then we can get the barges out and use air raids and off uh, and artillery as needed, um, indirect fire as needed. But anyway, let's cycle through. Hmm. We do want to move the headquarters one more turn. Let's move you here. Here. Okay. 
another turn into Newington. Okay. Everything's going pretty well so far. Let's see what. So this is turn two is always exciting because you. It's the first turn you can see what the enemy has in re, in terms of artillery. So let's see what happens. That looks like it's coming from the hill. Two batteries. Okay, they have two batteries. They're, I think they both were up on that hill. I forgot to call down fire support. Oh my gosh. That was really dumb. Mm. How did I do that? I think I'm stuck in the mindset of the last scenario where I just kind of skipped. Okay, well, that's why. All the SOP dummy. One, two, three, four, four. Let me check this guy's range four. That's tough. One, two, three, four. A six firepower attack at range four. Jeez. And with the artillery landing everywhere, this is going to be rough. There's two batteries. And at least one machine gun. This is going to be rough. And we got way too many units for this axis of advance. I'm thinking we should push the rearmost company into the mill. If we want to take the mill, the bait shot would be here, but that's under. No, that's not going to work. Two hexes in the open. Uh, here, this is the good, this is a decent hex. Okay, so we're going to stage for that right now. Uh, yeah, over here. Double time. Double time. And double time. Traffic jammed that. Whoops. <clears throat> okay, and over here. Yeah, there's just too many troops, too many troops. That's so far. Off. I was just thinking just for a moment of swinging all the way around through Shorncliffe Garrison Camp, but. Six. Actually, that's a six hex range. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, hmm. Eighteen turns. Yeah, I mean, we have the time to make maneuvers. All right, let's lead off with our rearmost units first. Yeah. Have you, yeah, you'll move one, two, three, four. Jeez, four hex range though. It's under those machine guns. Not cool. Uh, yeah, I think they would have shot at us. Come on, come on. Okay. So we'll move into the Shorn Cliffs military camp area because we can. Okay. Engineers will tag along. Okay. <clears throat> Shoot back at four. Yeah. I think that... 
because we sh he shoots me at two, I shoot him at four. It, it <clears throat> on the long enough timeline. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you will move. Hmm. Let's move here. Here. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. So either move here or I don't want to double up, so. Ooh, one, two, three, four. Dang, this position is pretty dominant. All right, well, just got to move here to get out of the line of fire. You two belong. Sort of down there as well. Oh, this is the motorcycle platoon. Okay. All right, let's move up. Oh, it's blind. That's a blind hex there. Okay, move up. Move up. You know what? The motorcycle platoon is going to be right there. It's got hedges cover and one, two, three, four, five hex range. Is not terrible. We'll take a four firepower attack. And then he, he could help out at the mill if there's anyone there. there. It's not pretty, but that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I didn't, ex I didn't expect that to work, but <clears throat> we had to try. Okay, now before I forget, we are calling down all four 75 millimeter fire support missions there. What we could do. We could smoke him. So even if the fire support doesn't do anything, we can still. Yeah, I mean, if we can't use smokes to help at the beach, yep, alright. So select this guy, control all direct ordered fire established. Okay. Alright. He's, we're going to smoke him and then move next turn. Uh, I regret that I missed that. Still, this looks like a pretty good... I like this line of advance we have here. Very broad. Not bad. Okay. One-sixth the way done. We got three turns finished. So, let's cycle. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. These units, which I've made almost useless. Okay. Did we? Oh no, we just put these. Okay, so there's a lot of hedgehogs. So very few landing spots. Let's move in a little closer. <laughs> so we can actually see. Enforcements, all three got them. Perfect. Okay. They're going to stay put. They fired out. 
we give the enemy its turn. Ah, jeez, that was quick. Yeah, that was not good. At least it wasn't ours. Okay. Come on, do some damage. So, the firepower of a unit shooting out of a smoke hex is halved, so... We go back to this, it'll be... I think it's at fractions rounded down as well, so it should be... 10, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, so we can basically do whatever we need to do. This truck obviously sees somebody in the woods. That's good information. We'll move him back. Now, one good thing about this retreat was that no one fired out of this mill when they could have. Which makes me think it's empty. We're not going to take a chance. Let's double time. It's clear, so we'll actually we'll move back towards the battle area, and uh, yeah, we'll move in. Yeah, overstack, overstack. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Actually, artillery. That may have been a mistake. If the artillery bombs this area, could have been a mistake. Oh, okay, too late now. Okay. This machine gun. What we want to do is get in real close so that next turn we have so much firepower that the guy just falls to pieces. So. Here. Let's see what can you see? Three hex range was what? Three hex range would be a four firepower attack. Oh, there's some entrenchments here. Hmm. Six. Well, if there was a machine gun there, it would have shot. One thing you know about machine guns is they always shoot out everything they can at anything they can on the AI's turn. So if it was all medium, it wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, the biggest priority is getting units online to lay down fire. I still feel hesitant to move here. Yeah, let's just move in. You guys drew the short straw, so... standard, but we'll just pull it again anyway. Rifle platoon 40. Shooting at hex range 3 is 3, but reduced to 1 for the smoke. And we'll do these barges. Yeah, we've got a full view 
Okay, we see some units too, or a unit and a fortification and a roadblock, so. Hmm. Should we head through that little gap? Or head around? Tell you what, we'll head around since these are the lead units. Cycle through. Well, yeah, the engineers in this company over here. Yeah, we'll move you here. Can't see what's here, can we? Oh, no, we can. Okay, let's go. Let's go check out what's in there. Three, two, three, two, one. Mm. Yeah, one more. One more. One more. Not too worried about this given the range. Okay, all units have been considered. Do we want to smoke this one more turn, or are we going to be ready? We have this guy fatigued. No, we're going to, we'll be ready. We're going to throw, we'll shoot it out. Okay, so we'll drop all the mortar fire and artillery fire we can on that position. And give the enemy its turn. Air raids? No. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Hit that. Yikes. They went for the motorcycle platoon. Tried to. Not sure what happened there. Okay, good. I forgot to set the op fires. That was not smart. Okay, so hopefully that guy's not low on ammo next turn. Two, three, four, five, six. So if there was a machine gun here that could shoot, it would have. Whoa, what's this? Damage. No. Dang, these guys are tough. Alright, well, this we Okay, first we're gonna try to bait a shot from the rifle platoon. Come on, shoot me. No. Next we move forward. Finally shoots, and we're going for the number one target, which is this machine gun. Yes! Reduced by two. Let's find out what he was. A media machine gun, 30. Uh, he lost two, and he's still there. So he can't be easier three strength or four strength. 
Okay, big whoop. Okay, nice. But anyway, that was a great shot. Great shot. Okay, next next up, let's get you and just Oh you're disrupted. Okay, great. Let's finish the machine gun. Come on, get him. Uh, that was everything. Yeah. Alright. Rifle platoons. One, two, three. Yeah, you'll move here. Shoot him. Okay, good. Keep moving in. Shoot him. Okay. Okay, uh, engineers, you move last. You move here. Shoot. Yes! Hit him again. Uh, move one space. Shoot him. Again. Same with you. Now, now we'll move the engineers. No, now we'll move this platoon. Uh oh. There's another one in there. Okay, just keep pouring it on. Huh, I was hoping I'd do a little more damage than that. Okay, let's move here and shoot him. Move here and shoot him. Wow. There we go. Some damage. Okay, nice, nice, nice attack overall. Pretty happy with that. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we broke him up a little bit. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna. Ch I don't want to go up this road, so I'll alter. Can you see if we moved you all the way? Observations. Do we really want to move all the way over there? Kinda. It'd be nice to line up a company up, up on this hill and then to, and then really directly support the attack on Hythe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's double time. One, two. What, what am I doing? Let's move the motorcycle platoon first. Okay, now you. It looks pretty clear. Let's move you. Gotta love the paved road. Paved road's so good for movement. Uh, this is, yeah, we'll take this whole company plus the motorcycle platoon. Yeah, so I'm gonna stage this company to the east of the military camp here to observe and then attack through these wheat fields across the road tracks and try to take the castle. Okay, but we do need to be aware of this. Yeah, and we'll wait one more turn and then move. Maybe we should just do it now. Yeah, a little bit of a risk, but it'd be nice to get this guy set. Yeah, let's move it here. Yeah, that's much, much better for future operations. Okay, let's cycle through. Oh yeah, I always forget the... Yeah, I just, I feel like as this is playing out, I feel like this is the right way to do this. I think it is. I mean, we're not even a third of the way through and I feel like I'm on time. I don't feel like we needed these guys, but I wanted to need these guys because I really wanted to save some SP, but it would have messed with the major victory. Yeah, so we'll go around. 
Then we can see a home guard, is it? Yeah. Um, these guys will probably go around too. These guys will be the ones that kind of go directly in. That way everybody hits the beach at the same time. Engineers, right. Forgot what their attack value was. Same as same as a parachute. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. That's why we cycle through. Okay, artillery fire, we need to start softening up this main line of resistance here. No smokes are necessary, no air attacks are necessary yet. Otherwise you like to save air attacks for machine guns that are a bit more troublesome position than the one we just fought. So yeah, we'll give the enemy its turn. Oh, that was close. Ah! Okay, no damage. Boy, wow, that went everywhere. Oh, there's a mortar right there. Yep, in that fortified. Oh my god! No! Oh, that was a lucky hit for the AI. Wow. We spy two. Yeah, it happens. It can happen. Ouch. It's an open ground hex, but still has a rough, tough hit. Yes, nice. Okay. Dang, they savaged that unit. Now we've got two at half strength. Two 3SP platoons. But we know where their mortars are, and we will take full advantage. I know it's 58. I should probably wrap this up. I feel like I want to do one more turn, get some revenge. And so we will. Disrupted, disrupted, everyone's disrupted, so... Um, yeah, let's shoot. Actually, the machine gun team is here, but he's severely reduced. Okay, so let's sh shoot, let's bait a shot, move, and then where can we bait shots from before you, right. okay, let's use you, yeah, just soak up their shots, there we go, okay, now, Do we want to move adjacent? Yeah, we don't want them to catch their breath. Yep. Just move across. Fifty-six, sixty-six, seventy-six, eighty-one. 
one. Yeah, double time. And double time you as well. Okay. Move across, move across, move across, move across. And then yeah, we'll overstack only because if that machine gun team moves back into this fortified location, I want at least something or someone to shoot at him. You're low on ammo. Move up. Yeah, you'll continue with your mission. Your new mission here. So, up. Motorcycle platoon. Let's get you started. Oh. Okay, uh, and then yeah, we'll move these guys around. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll land them. These guys will go right here, or maybe maybe we can send these guys up here, and then these guys can go here. Yeah, that's probably. What Why am I, why am I, I should have just saved a hex or two if I just went straight. Okay. Okie I think that's it. All units have been considered. Hmm, yeah, why not? Uh, and now, artillery, yes. We'll bring down all the mountain guns on this position just to keep them soft. Keep the enemy hopefully disrupted. And then we'll give the enemy's turn and cross our fingers that those guns don't blast our troopers too badly. Because we've already paid quite a bit. Yes, very nice. Come on guys, hang tough. Oh no, they undisrupted. Some of them undisrupted, I can see it. and a retreat. Okay, let's see. So the guy that retreated is already disrupted. And both units are disrupted. That's great. We will... We just have to worry about this machine gun, but I think we'll have enough overwhelming strength to deal with him, so... I think we broke through this initial line of resistance, and we can proceed up the hill. Uh, uh, we see a machine gun now. Six, so we're just out of range if he's a medium, which is why he hasn't shot. Hmm, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so maybe we should, maybe we should all take the long way around here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're definitely probably going to call an air raid. Probably need to blast him with our arty too. This is a priority target now, for sure. But it's not going to be a priority target in this video, so 
this is uh, a little over an hour um, so we will put it a bookmark in it here and pick it up in the next video so thank you for watching this all the best from the good captain and bye bye